you would have seen that it was all about this one. This week, it's all about this one. Lisa was doing the floor all last week, which is an incredible job. I think it looks fabulous. But while she was doing that, I had an awful lot of jobs oh. to do. So what I've done is instead of doing a weekly list for Ted, I have done a list of all the jobs that need to be completed within the next 10 days for us to finish this apartment before the first guest arrives to stay in it. So there's quite a lot on there. There is quite a lot on there, but there's quite a lot I can cross off. <laughs> Sharpie at the ready. The day is right. to make the vanity unit for apartment three. Um, I'm going to make it out of oak um, because my dear friend Steve let me raid his barn. Lots of different pieces of oak and stuff that down here is all old oak that was in his barn. And um, we're going to try and make the Vanity out of that. Like. I haven't really got an idea of how I want to do this. Look at me barn it. At least it's shorter. Um, but uh, yeah, it's going to be similar to the one I did in one, only for the fact that that's a fairly simple design and it's effective, uh, practical, and all that. Slatted bottom, uh, deep top to it, so it hides the, the bottle and the, the plumbing. And uh, yeah, we're going to do that. And then we're going to sit a little sink on top. We've got, we've got a basin to sit on top of that. So let's have a go and see where we are in about two or three hours. I'll come up to me measure the area that I want into three. Look, Madame is here. Da -da. She looks like she's going parachute jumping in that suit on. <laughs> Do you remember that time? Oh, yeah, I was just about oh to say God. that. Me and Ted did this indoor parachuting experience. That was hilarious. That was it? fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, <laughs> and I remember, yeah, it was uh, some of the smaller, smaller members of the party were absolutely brilliant at it. Some of us larger members of the party, <laughs> and I'm talking about me, were not so good. I was actually, it was really fun. I was actually quite good. <laughs> yeah, she was. She was really good. But then that could be because I have actually jumped out of the plane before. Yeah, well. <laughs> With my eyes closed. Once. <laughs> so this is the area we're going to put the, the vanity in. To be honest with you, it would be really nice if it sort of went into that area. So it's a very strange thing, but I might make one of the legs shorter so it fits in that gap. Um, so... That we'll do a load of measurements in in a minute and uh, and do that because it is I didn't realise it's quite so tight. Six hundred out there. That's probably forty. That comes out to about there. It's got to be. So we just put the top size through the planer, and it's come out lovely. There's a nice big split in there. I don't care about that. I'm a knots and everything to make it really interesting. But what I don't understand is this bit here is quite white and this is quite dark and brown and red. I don't know whether that is different types of oak. Please somebody tell me. This piece of wood here is a piece, again, that I found from Steve. Um, gnarly old bit, as you see well split and, you know but I thought actually it might make the front panel um, for the uh, vanity however um, it was all bent and twisted and mucked about so I did a thing that I have seen on the wonderful YouTube before where you get a flat piece of board and this is 15 mil plywood and you stick your piece of wood, which is all over the place. This obviously bit isn't now, but say it was like that. And what you do is you wedge this piece of board relatively flat and you hot glue gun, because that's what I had, in the side there, like similar to that. 
then you glue all the way around it so it doesn't move and you run that flat board through your planer thicknesser which gives you one flat side then you take the board take your piece off your flat board flip it over and do the other side now this is the end result so it's cut to size now it's 400 mil wide um and i don't know what it is dimensionally that like 200 something like that um and it has come down to 19 mil thick from whatever that is 25 it is flat on both sides when i was doing the side the gnarly side obviously this great big crack came out but i really don't care about that because that's going to be facing inwards this is the side that is going to be fronting the cabinet and i've just sanded it back to 80 grit and it's just come up so nice and now we can make the vanity with another piece of oak in the sides i'm probably going to just use something like this although it is rather thick i might use something other than that just oh look i happen to have here look something that is dimensionally better for me um and it really is because the sides are not as important as the front isn't that lovely so this is all the timber for the vanity unit come round here legs um extra piece all oh, the sides and everything and the glue up for the top so i've done that it don't have to be perfect it just has to stay together because that's not you know once it's all sanded up and it's got a nice edge on it and all that sort of thing it should be lovely but then we're going to leave that overnight i do believe we've got to go shopping because we've got to get some paint for the bathroom uh lisa wants some other bits and pieces so let's go and do that um we knocked up a little table while we were waiting um literally just something as a bedside table for me um because i haven't got anything that's about it for today um we'll come back tomorrow and we'll put everything together these lights here these are the lights that are going to go in the uh apartment on the wall by the panelling um again found in the house but in a bit of uh, needed a bit of tlc so we're going to take them apart we're going to spray them up and the plan is to mount them on a block in a shape um an interesting shape that it lends itself to the what the room is called um again i'm going to put them on this piece of thing i'm going to sculpt it in some way spray these up as i said rewire them um and that that'll be on the wall then this great monstrosity that somebody bought uh, this thing here which is incredibly heavy it's going to get mounted in the ceiling I think that's going to look fabulous. I can't wait to see that. Do you want this all sprayed up as well? Yeah. Yeah. So, this all needs rewiring, um, which we'll what do. What do you think, spray it up? Well, what do you think, just know. leave do it looking want, old? You, it comes with glass things as well on here. Yeah. I don't know whether you want them. But, yeah. Give it a brush up and see what it looks like. Yeah, it's fairly black anyway just maybe just put it straight up there um i think a lot of these are gonna need it's gonna need a lot of work so here's the finished article all uh shined up just a bit of paste wax on there um sorry for the white on the thing it's me phone it doesn't like it but um 
that's the little vanity unit um, with the practicality of having a shelf at the bottom so it makes life easier than doing drawers and stuff and it's got his holes in here for the sink and the waste and the, the taps etc 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 I'm quite pleased with that it is lovely using this oak and this is all ancient oak this is all stuff that was found out of Steve Harris's barn uh, that he let me have and um, we've done the necessary with it and turned it into something practical So you may well have noticed that I made a vanity, which is that. However, we've done that as well. And we've done that. And we've done that. Fantastic. Even that tile grouting. And even this one underneath. <laughs> I tell you, it's getting good. <laughs> So, as you see, we're cracking on. Head out the toilet, dog. <laughs> Unless you're going to use it. I've said this to you before. Head out of the toilet. <laughs> so, yeah, we did, as you see, quite a lot. But, there's one thing. Check this out. Okay, it's a crucial moment and I nearly forgot to put the camera on. We're fitting the panels. So these are the doors that we found. They were in the house, weren't they? All right. And, um, yeah, they're going on the wall as panelling. Let me put the camera somewhere, baby. You know I do remember. You do remember what? That I think it was my idea. Your idea? I think it was my idea. I don't think so. I'm sure it must have been my idea. No, I'm sure it was mine. No. Oh, oh right, OK. You're gonna, uh, it must have been my idea because right, it's, it's okay, a good so idea. That, I'm gonna stick a couple of fixings in the in the top and then swing because it, it needs to go in a little bit that way. In what way? In that way. Yeah. So and then I'll fix them into the three studs I've got, which will fit that little thing. Right. So I need to drill big holes. So what Ted's done is put... Oh. What Ted's done is <laughs> made me trip over. What Ted, so what Ted's done is put some framework on the wall. The doors are going on it. Then there's going to be a shelf. A little bit, just a, a thin shelf. For, um, as Joe calls it, frou-frou. Yeah. Frou-frou. And uh, in typical um, more many fashion, it's not going to be level. Fruit fruit, um, just by definition, I, I believe, means knickknacks. Knickknacks? In, in a normal person's term, I think it, it means knickknacks. <sighs> and those of you um, that have been following of France and England Will We Succeed channel, you'll know who I'm talking about. Right, can you hold this? Yeah. So with the panelling in place, it was then burnt and stained and looks absolutely fabulous. All it needs now is the shelf and the skirting boards. How are you getting on, baby? I'm oh, right. wow! So, are you finished them? There you go. Oh, they, they look fab. And sorted, nicely skewered on the wall. What oh, they look lovely. I really like them. Yeah, they look great. So, they were the old lights we found in the old house or they were found in the house, but you know, we kept them in the old house. And then I took, they had a great lump of wood on the back of them, but it wasn't going to be big enough for, to secure on the wall. So we refurbed them with a new fitting, rewired them, 
And then I made these. Out of an old bit of scaffold board, as usual. <laughs> they look great, I love them. Yeah. So all we need now is the candle bulbs to go in them. Yeah, I think some, some suitable bulb would be lovely. And then I think they look really spectacular. <laughs> yeah, brilliant. Thank you, baby. All right, darling. Really lovely. As you see, panelling, done. Wall lights, made and installed. Thank you very much. <laughs> and I'm so pleased with the amount of stuff we got done this week. Fantastic. Well, with oh. you, that's just all you. Yeah. I did the floor. That's just brilliant, isn't it? It's pretty good, you know. Yeah. Left to my own devices. <laughs> um, but I still had time to do this. So I don't know if you can hear me over the track fine turning it off. My tractor do what I like. Um, every two dogs, first thing in the morning, right nice. Cut a bit of the grass where the girls worked the other week. We've cut the rest of it because the weather's going to turn nasty. So uh, we're all done. Back to renovation. Oh, it makes such a difference, doesn't it, having that grass cut now? I love it, and as I said in the little clip, the weather was going to turn, and by God did it turn. It's extraordinary. Just a little clip to show you that living in the hot VN can be quite dramatic sometimes. April in France. We came with the good weather. We woke. <laughs> We woke up to snow this morning and then uh, we've driven. we just driven through this and thought, oh my God, the dogs are going to be absolutely soaked to the skin. But it hadn't arrived. And 20 minutes later, it arrived. <laughs> I think it went from 20 degrees down to minus seven in two days, yeah, didn't it? it was extraordinary. And thank goodness we had a load of wood cut as well. So, you know, at least we were warm. But yeah, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, so it's been a really good week. Fantastic um, week, still got loads well. to do. There is a lot left on yeah. there. And we've got 10 days before the first guest stay to arrive and stay in this apartment. This apartment, yeah. So, um, yeah, we've got a Ooh. long way to go and we've got a lot to do. So come back on Thursday and we're going to do a quick catch up with you Thursday before we do next weekend's video. Yeah, and you can lay bets to see if we finish or not. Yeah. <laughs> Check it out. Stay safe. <laughs> see you later. See you soon, everyone. Take care. Wonderful. Bye. Like and subscribe. Bye. Good one, baby. Good week. Mm. Well done. Thank you very much. A lot of work done. Thank you, everybody. Oh, what are that word? Right. We would like to say a big thank you to you as subscribers and all of our patrons for sticking with us over the last couple of years. Without you guys, we wouldn't be able to continue to do this project and to finish Chateau de Montmagne. So thank you, take care, and we'll see you all again next week. Goodbye.
Someone to share my dreams Someone